what is going on guys it is your boy tkd one two d here back again with another video and of course it is friday that means another episode of safe slot a weekly news show where we go over first party and third party news revolving around playstation Now, first of all, we have a very interesting story here that I wasn't anticipating, and, I, and I'm sure a lot of people forgot that was even coming, but if you guys remember back at 2014 Gamescom, PlayStation did announce that DayZ was coming to PS4, and we haven't heard from it pretty much virtually since. I'm sure it's been mentioned here and there, and maybe it's seen in some marketing materials, but overall, we have not heard about this game since 2014, since it first got announced for PS4. And obviously, DayZ was a much bigger deal back in the day, uh, but now, of course, it's kind of you know not really been a big thing as of late however they did release and drop daisy this week it is live right now you could go pick it up on the ps store right now and uh, play daisy to your heart's content and so uh they just dropped it on may 29th i believe so i think on wednesday when they dropped it very odd you know thing to drop but what is interesting to me is that i thought it was free to play i thought it was going to be a game that uh was free to play, or nonetheless even maybe 15 20 dollars it's a 50 dollar game guys i don't know Oof, I mean, I saw some people in the comment section pretty hyped about DayZ, but uh, definitely not on a global standpoint. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys hyped for DayZ? Are you guys going to buy it? Are you going to play it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Next up here, of course, we have a ton of pre-E3 stuff, which we will go over all of E3 and all of our plans on PlayStation Source uh, for E3 at the Cross Circle on Monday. So definitely go uh, make sure to go be on the lookout for the episode to get our full in-depth plan of E3. Now, starting off here, we have Ubisoft here uh there is supposedly a link uh going around for it, an official new ip from ubisoft so i'll put the tweet up on here it was from new underscore wabi sabi uh you know she or he just she because the because the because the avatar like, i don't know it could very well be a gentleman don't know but uh this it, this individual says ubisoft is revealing a brand new ip sometime this year very likely at e3 and involves skating and a sports ball it has a very nice style to it here is the logo and so there was also a link on this article that I have linked down below as well um, to a reddit post that had some videos about it and uh, there was really a lot in the video it was just what the arenas looked like that you're skating around I suppose so that looked pretty cool but I can't show it here I, or I, don't, I just don't know if I can show it here honestly I just would rather not take my chances but we could be getting a new game here roller champions uh, brought by by Ubisoft to unveil the E3 and so to me it looks a lot like a very much Rocket League type of game where it's you know competitive and you are doing movements that are not really uh you know human-esque if you will you know obviously skating is a little more close to human than an actual car or like a you know rc thing whatever but it could be pretty cool i don't know it could be cool and who knows we might see this at e3 in a few weeks or uh or i guess right now a few days to come next up here another ps4 game that's been kind of dormant as of yet we talked about that a few weeks ago i believe it was a you know trademark renewal or something like that but we have wild uh, if you guys aren't aware wild is a game that is apparently still coming to ps4 and what happened was on their facebook uh they actually updated the banners to the wild game so i'll put it up here on screen somewhere uh there's two different versions and it just had the sub caption light or darkness or light and darkness i forgot if it was or and but light and darkness essentially and so it's very interesting to see here that maybe they could be gearing up for another massive unveiling at e3 this year maybe i don't know but then again with playstation not having a you know stable time frame to announce things at E3 because they're not going to E3. There is a rumor to play that's supposed to be coming. Who knows anymore? Honestly, there was supposed to be Last of Us Part Two trailer this week. Didn't come out. It, it, it's a whole thing. So uh, maybe they might just announce this somewhere at another conference, perhaps. But we could be getting some new news about Wild. Maybe a release date here and there. Maybe we'll see. But the uh, E3 is shaping up to be even cool for some PlayStation games as well. Now this game I was completely unaware of, but apparently there was a Ghostbusters video game was was not aware of it and uh, there were rumors initially that they, it, it would be getting an HD remaster and stuff like that however it finally came out with a new trailer that you're seeing on screen here and it is official the Ghostbusters video game is getting a remastered edition for that game and of course uh, obviously you know one of the staple heads of kind of funny Greg 
Miller was absolutely losing it. And he also unveiled that he will be hosting the panel for the game at Ghostbusters Con or Ghostbusters, uh, 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 you know something like that something something some some conference to do with Ghostbusters he will be uh, there and hosting that panel for the game so definitely a big props to Greg Miller on that and uh, I am not interested in this game at all really haven't been a big Ghostbusters fan but you know to those that like Ghostbusters you're you're getting a remaster of this game so hope you all enjoy it when it comes out now of course this week we got the big Death Stranding blowout 8 minute and 50 whatever second trailer and me and Christian uh, streamed it and reacted to it and all that good stuff so that was this uh, that was this week's cross circle so basically check out that episode Episode if you want our full reactions to it and I may be doing a follow-up video uh, going over all the info that we know about right now that happened after the trailer because we have a lot more info about the game that has came out you know since that trailer but uh, with that trailer there was another news bit rumor going around that apparently Death Stranding is a timed exclusive for PS4 I mean for PlayStation as a whole and that uh, it will be coming to PC at some point later and so this was a thing that was going around but it was debunked slightly by the person that made that kind of assumption you know and uh so Nibel uh retweeted uh something that was saying that that Death Stranding is a PS4 time exclusive blah, blah, blah. and then he says that you know well Nibel says that the same guy who leaked the release date November 8th before anybody else so you know he was adding credibility to the person that initially said that Death Stranding would be a PlayStation time exclusive however the person that said it was came back with a reply to Nibel's tweet as you can see here on screen and says the translation was lazy I said that based on the informations we have 2015 statements lacks of quote only on PlayStation etc the game should come to PC at later date it's not 100% confirmed like the release date I knew about and some other information I didn't share yet so he's saying hey guys hold up hold up I could be you know misled here I could not have the full picture here I just said it on assumptions you know what I'm saying so he's definitely covering his bases in the event that it is just a you know PlayStation exclusive uh, but who knows how the deal went down you know with Kojima and with PlayStation who knows what it is but i'd be actually really shocked to see if it is a time exclusive i feel like PlayStation, you know doesn't really do that as far as i'm aware i can't think of one the only thing i could think of was was this year when we had quantic dream games coming to pc now like we have um, um i keep forgetting the first game of their game series oh my gosh beyond two souls we have uh you know those those games from that from that studio they're not coming to pc and so that's the only you know thing we have but uh that's because they only had a three game contract with playstation it wasn't like a super long contract so i don't know guys we'll see if that's trending eventually comes to pc we will see how it goes and of course some more marvel avengers square enix e3 rumors here we got we got something that's a little bit more concrete so on the e3 website you can see where they're going to have uh their their e3 coliseum segments where they focus on games and stuff like that there's a few for ones that haven't been announced like ubisoft has one on the last day for a tile that they haven't even announced yet so that should be pretty cool but we had one for marvel avengers and it did come with a little description that you really told a lot about the game that we haven't heard about yet so it's happening at 1 p.m to 1 30 not sure which day it is at least from the screenshot that i'm showing on here but uh it says here to embrace your powers and join key members of the development team at crystal dynamics and the creative team at marvel games as they talk exclusively about the upcoming marvel's avengers this is the defining avengers gaming experience an epic adventure that combines cinematic storytelling with continuous single player and cooperative gameplay moderated by andre renee shout out andre renee assemble in teams of up to four players master extraordinary abilities customize your heroes to fit your play style and combine power to defend an ever-expanding world under constant threat and so right there like i guess the new ones here we got was that you know it's gonna be single player there's gonna be co-op you'll be able to customize your hero which could be interesting as well to tailor to your play style and they did say here that you can assemble up to four players a bit eh because you know a lot of people were hoping that you know with the uh with the avengers game you could play as multiple avengers in a avengers-esque team that is above four and not you know you know hopefully we were thinking that was going to be you know six etc maybe eight like in division two but it's cool you know we have four people it's all good it's all good but we will see when it all comes out of e3 i personally this is one of the games i'm definitely looking out for i cannot wait to hear more about this game and uh of course you can catch it live here 
on PlayStation Source. We'll be streaming all of E3 here on this channel. Now, yesterday, if you did not catch our Call of Duty Modern Warfare stream, I did a quick one. Christian wasn't even there. It was just me and some friends. Uh, we were watching the Modern Warfare trailer together and, you know, just seeing all the news come in as it came in from people that went to go play the game. Very, very cool stream, you know what I'm saying? But some uh, things came out, most importantly, that the game's going to have, of course, Crossplay. They're getting rid of the season. They they are getting rid of, uh, of the season pass, and they're gonna have free content for the game upon release and stuff like that. However, you know one thing that still came true about this game from past CODs, I was a little bit like, eh, like this is kind of weird. So apparently, well, not even apparently, I saw it. You know, if you go on PlayStation's channel and look up the trailer for Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, the new one, they have a spot screen that looks a bit familiar that we've seen before. It is the play new content first on PS4 and. And so a lot of people were assuming that with crossplay and with uh, you know no no season pass that maybe that maybe we would have uh, you know no content be released prematurely on any other device like we would have all the content drop at the same time for the game for all platforms. Unfortunately, PlayStation I guess still has this deal with uh with 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 activision so you know that's just how it goes unfortunately so i i don't like this news honestly i wish they would get rid of this exclusivity with content but i understand business is business things were made prematurely you know and things were made you know probably in years past so i guess uh, we'll have to endure this until the contract is up but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys happy that PlayStation is still getting content first? Do you think it's weird? Let me know your thoughts down below. And we have some more E3 murals coming up. Obviously, the uh, the murals on this, I believe it's a hotel, I think. It's a hotel. But, uh, you know, these three have been, you know, with a bunch of other things in the past. And uh, I think most notably last year was Fallout 76. <laughs> Yikes. But uh, this year looks like they're having a Doom Eternal mural on this. I just wanted to throw it in there, you know, to be like, hey, guys. Uh, you know, E3 is wrapping up. I mean, not not wrapping up, excuse me, ramping up, excuse me, ramping up. And uh, I am excited to see all these games. I, I'm excited. I am not feeling it. This week definitely is for me, like, sorry, E3. You know, uh, I felt like it should have been started a little bit earlier, but it's cool. It's cool. We get it now, and I cannot wait. Now, right before Activision, you know, unveiled their Infinity Ward developed Call of Duty Modern Warfare yesterday, uh, Bungie came out to Twitter and did a simple tweet right here, just a very, very simple tweet. They say here, tune in for the reveal of the next chapter of Destiny 2. And uh, they have a date for it. It's going to be Thursday, June 6th at, I believe, 10 a.m. Pacific. If not, the tweet is somewhere up here. I don't wait totally did not have it open, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, 10 a.m., but if not, Read the tweet, it's all good, link in the description. But I am interested to see this. Now, I have fallen a little bit behind on Destiny 2. I still really like the game, I still like Destiny you know, as a whole, but I have not played uh, the, ex I have played the two little um, expansions, but not the big like year two changing Destiny 2 thing. I haven't played that one yet, or, or the year one update i forgot what it was called i haven't played forsaken that's what's called i have not played forsaken yet so I'm, I'm i'm a bit behind on destiny but um i'm excited to see what they have for the next chapter i'm really interested to see what they have next for us and i hope that's really good and we will see that all oh, maybe we might so well, obviously they say we're gonna see it next thursday but uh maybe we'll see more of an unveiling um at e3 or maybe they're just gonna blow it out on thursday we'll see how it all goes on Thursday, and we may do a stream, but if not, definitely check in next week's save slide, and I will have all the info about Destiny 2. And lastly here, this one is a bit concerning for me, but it's a, not not as bad as everyone's making it out to be, but it's a bit concerning. So over here, of course, PS Plus, a big uh, money maker for PlayStation, they have announced overseas in different European countries that they will be raising the price um, of some of the tiers of PlayStation Plus. So more so more specifically it is for countries like france germany sweden switzerland and japan and so uh while on paper that looks initially like knee-jerk bad let's just go over and see how they're actually raising the price because it's not as horrible as it's made out to be and so uh in some cases like japan the price hike is only going up for one month um subscription options uh to kind of adjust the prices and more specifically there's other countries like sweden and switzerland that appear to be like price corrections and so because 
because I guess in those countries, if you bought multiple one month subscriptions, so like if you bought 12 one month subscriptions and did your yearly um, PlayStation Plus subscription that way off of one month, it is cheaper than buying the full year. And so they just wanted to correct those prices because I know here in the States, you can do that. Like the, I think the cheapest way to get PS Plus uh, on an annual basis is just getting the year pass and stuff like that. So uh, they could, you know, get it for less on the monthly subscription in those countries so they kind of adjusted that so it seems to be a lot of it here is just kind of uh correcting the price and making it a bit more fair universally overall across all, across all the countries but it is concerning to say that uh you know they are raising the price technically on PlayStation plus in those countries when they're only offering you know two games now for free and you know that's it is definitely the, it is a it is a point of contention where ps plus has kind of definitely devalued over these past few months and it's you know not that you are there you know one can argue that you know are they really even playing those games on vita and on ps3 but nonetheless they were free games you know what i'm saying so i don't know it is what it is but let me know what you can see in the comments below are you guys uh a bit concerned the volume price you know it, it increases like me let, me let me know your thoughts in the comments below and ladies and gentlemen that has been our week on save slot if you all enjoyed it make sure to leave a like on your videos as well stay subscribed to playstation source to keep up with the latest grace in playstation down below we can find our description we can find our links we can find our twitter our discord all the good stuff you can follow us on there in the links below make sure to check out the channel on monday for episode of cross circuit where we go over all things e3 predictions and we will be announcing our e3 plans there and keep it locked on twitter for the announcement as well and all that good stuff leading into e3 next week and well e3 the week after that but you know what i'm saying like next week is e3 prep week you feel me so uh thank you for watching and as always greatness awaits